Wow. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, back to uh, another edition of the Stand By Me show, the Stand B show. I'm your host, Stan B. Uh, my God, it's been a long, long week. Long, long week. This program is dedicated to the uh, memory of uh, our fallen comrade and colleague, Chauncey Bailey. What can you say about that, ladies and gentlemen? That's probably one of the saddest times of uh, Oakland that uh, stunned the entire nation, cut down like an animal on August the 2nd, downtown Oakland on 14th and Alice. Wow, man, it's like, whew, boy, it's been so many stories about the things that Chauncey has done for people. Um, over the years, and uh, I'm one of them. You know, I work with I work with Chauncey uh, side by side as a sports director at the Soul Beat International Television Network. Actually, he gave me uh, my start at being the sports broadcaster there. Maybe some of you remember that. And uh, this show is dedicated. This half an hour is dedicated to Chauncey Bailey, as we will be doing some flashbacks of uh, some of the things that Chauncey has done on the SBN network, uh, the news, and uh, we will show you some things there, and uh, he's did so many things for so many people, you know, and I'm one of them, and you can see that uh, he's all over the newspapers, Chronicle, Tribune, uh, Oakland Post, uh, out in the Globe, and uh, was at the funeral yesterday, Mary Ron Dellums gave a wonderful speech, and uh, Rodney Best, Derek Nesbitt, Barbara Lee, um, everybody, you know, we thank you. We want to thank Channel 2 and all the other major networks for covering this event, uh, or this sad, sad event, I should say, and uh, we really appreciate you doing that. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for uh, not letting this go away, you know. Oakland Post editor, uh, thank you very much for uh, your speech also, and this is really, this really, really hurts the heart, you know, and more black-on-black -black crime. That's really, really a, a sad, sad thing, but we will be, uh, no commercials will be flashbacking on Chauncey Bailey, and uh, we're going to do that right about now. We're going to go back to the Sobeat International Telev ne Television Network and show you some things of Mr. Chauncey Bailey. This is Chauncey Bailey joined by a whole lot of black women. Right on. Oh, yeah. Boy, I tell you, I haven't seen so many black women since I drove down San Pablo. Okay, we are here with some of the women who make up our news beat team. You're looking at uh, Selwyn Whitehead. Selwyn, of course, is empowerment beat. Then we've got uh, Lenore O'Neill, black women's beat. And we've got Luella Harris, who is education beat. We've got Gabrielle, who is style beat. We got, we've got, uh, we've got uh, Leslie Hope with, uh, she's my co-anchor. I'm also joined by our legal beat correspondent, Alana Grice. Our new addition, of course, is Barbara McGee, who is beauty beat. We've got gospel beat with Marceline Martin. My other co-anchor is Luella, not Luella, uh, Lucinda Taylor. And from the Caribbean, we have Caribbean Beat, that is Joan Savory. And just popping in is JJ, who is our Entertainment Beat correspondent. So you give us a call at the 553-1137 if you want to pose a question to any of these young ladies. And we also encourage you to send in your checks to Soul Beat Television. And of course, that address is P.O. Box 5156, Oakland, California, 94605. You know, there's 17 other cities in the United States that have more blacks than Oakland. <coughs> they have, they don't have a, what we have, which is a black-owned station, so support Sobe. Ladies, you have any opening statements uh, to your community, your beloved community? Barbara, what, what, uh, what uh, beauty tips do you have for you the ladies in general, or these ladies who are sitting around here now? Well, John, say, It's, first of all, a pleasure to be here amongst all these beautiful women. I appreciate you welcoming me new to the team. Uh, I also would like to let you each know, as we talked earlier, that um, I've been in makeup for 20 years, and I have my own 
in business. And what I'd like to do is afford each and every one of you, as well as the viewing audience, an opportunity to experience some of my expertise. And what, in terms of you, well, we've talked on my... <laughs> okay, uh, let me see, who's single here? I know you're single. Thanks, Chauncey. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for pointing that out. Well, when, you, when you want to be president of the United States, that's your career goal. I mean, it's kind of hard to get a date, isn't it? Uh, well, as, as a career goal, yes, but I don't think that's the reason. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that without, you know, your tremendous announcements. Um, I, that is my ultimate career goal, but I'm sorry, I'm going to keep holding this for me. Just hold it up, just as a prop. Okay. <laughs> um, Ultimately, yeah, that's I do want to be president of the United States, and I have about 15 or 20 years before I do that. But um, being single in Oakland is not always easy. What's uh, difficult about being single in Oakland? Um, well, well <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to make any announcements about any particular clubs. However, um, the my past experiences at least have been that when you go out to meet you know young men, it's not a lot of places where you can meet people who have the same goals, the same mindset. Um, who are professional, who are looking for that kind of relationship. And, you know, the legal community is very small here in Oakland, especially black, you know, attorneys, and then black male attorneys, if you're interested in that. But, um, so when you tell a guy that you're a lawyer, I guess he's instantly intimidated. Though, right? I don't know if it's intimidation in general. Um, unfortunately, they don't tell me. They're not honest about it. But, you know, I'm really open. <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> let me know. 553 You can talk to Alana right here. Okay, uh, Selwyn. Yeah. Selwyn, you're, 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 you're involved with a major lawsuit against the Oakland of Oakland. Oh, not really. You just have to make up your mind that you're not going to stand for BS. And let's face it, our government is screwing over us black people here. Mm -hmm. um, um, in 1991, I made a proposition to the city to develop a linked banking ordinance that would make sure that banks serviced our community as effectively as they do up in Montclair. And I worked really hard to get the ordinance put on the books, and then here we are, uh, you know, nine, ten years later, almost into the new millennium, and the city of Oakland is bending the rules to make sure that the white um, status quo community in our, in our community are taken care of you know, putting us in jeopardy. And, you know, I'm of a mind that if I work hard for something and it gets screwed around, I'm not, not going to lay down now. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to lose this because government always um, has more power, more resources than an individual. Eight, nine. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Barbara McGee. All right, as Stan works his way over to our sports piece desk from Clemente, San Clemente, California, a man was arrested after falsely claiming he had been robbed, forced into his car, and then pushed over an embankment all part of an elaborate uh, story and an um, insurance scheme, insurance fraud scheme. They have arrested 31-year-old Mark Coster in that incident. From Pomona, California, armed robbers kicked open the door of a home and forced their way inside. The two residents were on the floor at gunpoint. The, ra the ransackers uh, made off with $600 in cash and other belongings. Okay, let's now go to Stan B with uh, Sports Beat. Go, go to it, sir. Oh, boy, gosh. I lost my voice here while I was out at the uh, Golden State Warriors playing the Miami Heat, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, they lost that game 90 to 82. Well, you, we'll get back to you tomorrow. That's Sports for Me. I'm Stan B. Thursday, always thinking you were standing by me. And now we're going to turn things back over to Chauncey Bailey, best anchor in the world. All right, thank you, sir. I want to say greetings to one of our new viewers out there in Belmont, North Carolina. Kimberly Cameron is project developer at Mercy Housing. So welcome, Kimberly, to the Soul Beat family. I'm Chauncey Bailey. For all of us here at Newsbeat and the Soul Beat Television Network, thanks for joining us. Thank her in the world. Chauncey Bailey. Larry Bird, the dead be dead, right? The dead be <laughs> You cold blood. The Giants, the Giants won Monday and so did the A's. That's right. That's a rarity. Oh, yeah, yeah, great. Absolutely. All right, that is going to put a cap on this edition of Newsbeat. I'm Chauncey Bailey for all of us here at Newsbeat and the Soul Beat Television Network. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, you handle that for us, please. You have just had news.
Cosby with John C. Bailey. Sponsored in part by Kmart. Super Kmart. My talented Lucinda Taylor. Thanks a lot, Stan. And that'll do it for this edition of Newsbeat. We'd like to welcome our audiences on the internet. For Chauncey Bailey, Stan B., Cindy Carter, and the staff and crew here at Newsbeat, I'm Lucinda Taylor. We'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, more, uh, you know, I just want to let you know that Chauncey, you know, is responsible for me uh, being that sports director at Soul Beat and, uh, you know, wrote articles about me in the Oakland Post. Here's one of them and about the television program here. Uh, he also put me in the uh, California Voice <laughs> and Metro Reporter. Uh, we'll show you that right there. And, uh, he spoke for the underdog, you know, and uh, gave people breaks, you know, where otherwise no one else would give you a break. You know, he was speaking for the uh, underdog, you know, for the person that didn't have a voice, uh, for a local guy like me who's been on TV for since 1979, 1980, uh, doing TV at Laney College, Merritt College. You know, and I've uh, been in the entertainment business uh, the majority of my life. And it's a hard, hard business. It really, really is, you know. And uh, he was for the community, so he was trying to help local guys like me, uh, you know, make something good of his life and some of, uh, of himself. And uh, he's the one that, uh, you know, wrote these articles, you know, about me, you know, Stan B. Uh, <laughs> he was a great guy, you know. And uh, about the television show and the TV network and uh, my CD, Blue Fire. And, uh, you know, he really was a, well, Brenda Payton in the Tribune was talking about he was a uh, champion, not a cheerleader. And that was a really, really good article, Brenda. He was a champion and a cheerleader, you know, and uh, he was uh, just everywhere, man, just uh, doing reports and trying to help the community. There's so many stories coming out about the great things that Chauncey Bailey did, and uh, wow, it was just absolutely um, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. We have an interview with uh, Chauncey Bailey's dad, Chauncey Bailey Sr., uh, also his fiance Deborah Ottawa, and his sister, and uh, Chauncey's sister, and we're going to put that on for you right about now on the Stand By Me show. Uh, Chauncey Bailey's father here with us uh, on the RTV cruise. How are you doing, sir? Just fine. It's good to be here. I'm enjoying myself a lot. In this, uh, I hate to have to come out here for the occasion, but I'm here and the things happen and we can't help it. But I'm glad to be here to, at this event because he is a part of it. Absolutely. So uh, what is, tell us some of the fondest memories that you have about your son. Well, we were on a cruise about in May, and we had a good time. And that was the first time I'd seen him in about six or seven years. And then that, this happens, and I'm sorry to hear about it. It's really, really a sad thing. Now, are, are, you, uh, are you holding any kind of animosity to the perpetrator? Uh, what would you like to see happen to this gentleman? Just pass judgment on uh, what happened. He, he was a young man. He didn't know what he was doing. That's really, uh, that's very spiritual for you to say something like that because a lot of people are very, very angry. This is probably the worst crime that has ever hit the, the city of Oakland and it has just went across the nation and has stunned everybody, sir. You know, we're real sorry for your loss. Um, how, how, do you, how are you holding up? I'm, I, I'm doing pretty good. I had a bad day yesterday, but I'm, I'm pretty good today. God bless you, sir. We certainly appreciate you taking the time to come on to the Stand By Me show. And uh, we love you. We love your son. God bless you. And, and, and what, is, what is your, tell, tell the viewers your full name, sir. My name is Chauncey Wendell Bailey. Chauncey Wendell Bailey Sr. Sr., yes. Don't, so how long? Don't forget the senior part. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the senior part. How long are you going to be in town with us, sir? Big pardon? How long are you going to be in town with us? I'll be leaving here Saturday morning, going back to Des Moines, Iowa. God bless you, sir. We wish you all the best in the world. Real sorry for your loss. Uh, we love you. Your son has uh, touched the hearts 
of millions of people. I'm very glad to hear your your thanks and everything. John C. Bailey Sr., ladies and gentlemen, on the Stand By Me program on the Miss Hour TV pageant. And this is John C. Bailey's uh, fiance. How, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm great. It's good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and your name, for, tell us your full name. It's Debbie Ottawa. And Debbie's, uh, how are you feeling? How, uh, how are you holding up with all this? Oh, it's tough. It's tough because uh, we're very violent. Um, so it's tough. Very, very brutal. A very brutal, brutal murder, you know. I mean, no one deserves to go out like that, especially him, you know. We love him so much. John C. gave me my uh, shout on Solby Television as sports director, and uh, he was the only one who would put me in print in the California Voice and the Oakland Post about uh, my television show and my CD, Blue Fire, and uh, when all the other media just did not uh, really care, John C. was for the underdog, for the people who didn't have a voice. Yeah, um, Chauncey, for many, many years, like 30 years in journalism, television, and print press, uh, very much love the community and uh, investigative reporter articles about violence, the same sort of violence, you know, so it's, it's really horrible to, uh, about what happened, yes. So, so what would you like to ha see happen to the uh, perpetrator of this crime? He, he calls himself a good foot soldier. I say he's more of like of a foot fool. Yeah, I, I think it's so important to continue the sort of work that Chauncey was doing is, uh, with your community. And uh, I would also say... Uh, Democracy, a very important part of democracy is, is the American judiciary, so I, I guess we would trust that, that those folks would make the right, right determination decision, if in fact that is uh, the person guilty of uh, the murder. Do you think that is the person guilty or do you think he's just a scapegoat? I don't know personally because I didn't eyewitness it, so I'm very careful about uh, you know, accusing anyone of anything, but I prayed over it. If in fact that they were involved in that, what would you like to see happen to the building and, and to the people that were involved in that? I have prayed over it, so I'm very confident that God's going to bless, even inside of this horrible thing, that this too shall pass. And uh, I, I... I'm excited about what, what God can do, even in circumstances like this. Um, that's, very, that's very spiritual. But I think what should happen is a discourse, continued discussion, the sort of investigative reporting that Chauncey did for so many years, editor-in-chief, work with television, newspaper, magazine, film. He was prolific. And yeah, sometimes black leadership is discouraged from black leadership because sometimes they get shot down. But you ask yourself, you know, if you really care, if you are determined, uh, despite the fact that somebody threatens you about the sort of work you do, and uh, that, in fact, is what a brave soldier is, someone uh, like Chauncey. Chauncey is definitely a true American hero. And, and your last name, Debbie, is? It's Debbie Ottawa. Ottawa? Debbie Ottawa on the Stand By Me show. I'm Stan B. God bless you. Hope you continue to stay with us. We're going to get back. Akia. Lorelai Wakia. That's a beautiful name. So how are you holding up? Very well. Very well. We've had a lot of uh, support here in Oakland with all of Chauncey's friends. And it's just amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I was telling you, uh, telling Chauncey's dad, uh, uh, Chauncey Bailey Sr., and also his fiance Debbie, that Chauncey gave me my first start as sports director. Uh, uh, so I worked with him for around seven years on Soviet International Television, side by side, five days a week. And he gave me that start when nobody else would give me a chance to display my talent. We've heard that over and over. There's so many people that he has mentored. and. Uh, so he definitely, his work will live on. So, because I put out a CD. To me, because this is something that my business partner, the late, great Chauncey Bailey, um, and I had thought about three months ago. And nothing is good, or I feel it's good, as seeing a plan come together. Now this plan, unfortunately, my business partner won't be here with us physically. 
but I know that my business partner, Chauncey Bailey, is here with us in spirit. Chauncey Bailey was a great man. Yeah, great man. yeah, yeah. And I don't use that term great loosely. The reason why I say he was a great man is that, I mean, he's accomplished some things that a lot of people never accomplish in a lifetime.
It was just more than one. That about does it for me, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, God bless everybody. I uh, hope we don't have to meet like this again. I hope we don't ever have to go through anything like this again. This has been uh, one of the most toughest, toughest things I've ever had to endure. Uh, one of the most saddest moments of my life. One of the most saddest, horriblest crimes probably that has ever hit Oakland California. This has stunned the nation. Uh, we got to come together as a community. As Mr. Dellums, Ron Dellums said, the madness must stop. This is in Thanking you for standing by me. God bless. Have a very powerful, powerful, positive year. <sighs>